The memory of Saint Demosthenes is celebrated on the 10th of April. The saint worked in the fishery of Smyrna. That year, although he worked hard, he not only did not earn anything, but also remained in debt to the Turkish manager of the fishery. The following year, another Ottoman manager took over the fishery, who pressured the saint to go and work, so that he could pay off his debt and also get his share, like the others. The saint did not want to go in any way, even though he was encouraged by the other fishermen. Then the Turkish manager of the fishery became angry and slandered him, saying that he had sworn that if he did not go to work in the fishery, he would become a Turk. He found other Turkish false witnesses and brought him to court. The judge pressured him to become a Muslim, as he had supposedly sworn. The saint shouted that they were lying and that he could not become a Turk, and that as a Christian he believed in Christ and was ready to shed his blood for him. Then they severely beat him with rods, tortured him with various tortures, and threw him into prison. They closed his feet in stocks, even inserting bricks and other rough materials into the holes of the punishment wood to increase the pressure and make the pain more severe. The saint endured all of this with great patience and bravery. Someone named Nicholas, a Christian and a martyr, went alone to prison to support the saint and strengthen him in his martyrdom. The judge ordered and brought the saint two or three times for interrogation. He tried to change his mind in many ways, with flattery, promises of many pleasures and honors, threats of harsher tortures and even death. He could not persuade the witness at all, so he issued a guilty verdict. Thus the saint was beheaded. The Christians of Smyrna managed to buy the saint's honorable remains and bury them in the church of St. George. Immediately great miracles followed, such as the healing of a blind woman who had been blind for many years. When the remains were moved, they emitted a wonderful fragrance, so strong that a monk who participated in the moving, when he went to Chios after a while, was asked why his hands smelled so good. <laughs>